All right, this isn't uh, so much a video. This is just a quick little review of the previous five, six, seven, eight videos. You'll see where I am here. This is an excellent resource to use if you want to read more about this and see their examples. But I'm at docs.oracle.com for Java. And they basically have a little tutorial series, right, with everything in the language. And I'm in the inheritance section here. And I'm just going to scroll down and go over a couple of the rules we just did, which is right here what you can do in a subclass. So this is when you extend. So, little review here. Subclass inherits all of the public and protected members of its parent. Now remember, the private fields, they're there, but technically Java doesn't say they're inherited. Okay, and it's right there in front of you. Okay, only the public and protected are inherited. The other ones, you don't have access to, and they say they're not inherited. Here we go for some rules. The inherited fields can be used directly. So all the public and protected, free of use. You can declare a field in the subclass with the same name as the one thus hiding it. We didn't do this in our examples because like it says here, not, re rec uh, <laughs> not recommended. And you won't see this on the AP exam either, but you can do it. You can declare new fields. Well, you saw a lot of that. We give our subclasses extra variables and fields. The inherited methods can be used directly as they are. Yep, just use them. That's why they're public and protected, so you can use them. You can write a new instance method, which just means add new methods to the class. Well, of course, that's usually what you do a lot of the time when you extend a class. And that is called, whoops, I didn't read the rest. And it has the exact same signature as the superclass, then that's called overriding. We took a look at that. We didn't do this. You can write new static methods, thus hiding them. So basically, it's like overriding a static method. You can declare new methods that are not in the superclass. That's what I meant before. You usually do. And you can write subclass constructors that invoke the constructor of the superclass by using the keyword super or implicitly. And implicitly is like when you don't put it there, then the compiler Java just calls the super for you. And so it's as if it's written in there, even though you didn't actually write it in there. And we took a look at that too. So we did like 90% of that there and it should make sense. Anyways, that's your quick little review. There is more to learn about uh, the rules to inheritance, but for uh, Computer Science AP, that's basically the basics, okay, and the rules that you have to know if you want to be able to write these extended classes. There you go. Learn those. Uh, it's probably the biggest memorization of the course, right? This section and the next section. Have fun with that.